Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs. I'm really excited today to really prep a wig and get it ready to wear. Now, in yesterday's video, I showed you my hair and its growth for this month because we're growing it back together. And I showed you how I put on my thin candy wig from Godiva Secret Wigs to start the day. Now, in that video, I mentioned I've got four of these wigs in the same colour in ginger brown which is gorgeous it's like a gorgeous rich deep ready browny just gorgeous color i love her so much she's very similar to how my hair used to be when i was having my best hair days so i mentioned i got four of those wigs and one of the wigs i haven't even done anything with yet it's just been sitting in the corner i got an extra one as well because i have one for work i have one for daily wear I have one I've cut bangs in, like a full bang in as well, all in ginger brown. And now I've got another one just because I wanted a spare. You know, if I'm wearing one and I need to wash it, I've got another one there. So I thought it'd be really cool to kind of share with you the process from the start to finish, how I get it ready to wear. So this is how Thin Candice comes. Now, I know I've done many, many videos on Thin Candice. And, you know, I'm sure you may be thinking, Thin Candice again, Liz, but... You know, it just shows you how easy they are to wear and use. So this is how she comes. So if you order this wig from Godiva Secret Wigs, this is exactly how she comes. You can tell I haven't even took it out of the packet. It's still got the label on. You know, it's still got the tag on that it comes with. It's just been sitting up the corner. So I'm going to make this one into my new work wig because I've decided the one that I shared with you on the last video with the thin little banger I've cut in, I want to start wearing that out and about. So I want just a wig in its natural state so I can wear it for work. So first of all, I've got labels and I've put on what the, the wig is. It's thin candies in ginger brown and it's for a work wig because now I've got four of these wigs I've put on what they are. So I've put thin candies ginger brown with a thin bang. That's the one I had on the last video. And then I've got daily wear wig, which is exactly as it comes, you know, like this with no cut bang. I've got another one with a full bang in and I've put full bangs on. And this one I'm just going to put on the bag work wig so I know which wig to go to every day when I'm working on my other channel, Guided by Angel. The reason why I only wear this wig now on that channel is so people can get used to me there. So new people aren't kind of tuning in thinking, who is this woman? Is this the same woman? Who was here yesterday? So we're going to take her out of the bag. And, you know, it's really nice as well to see a wig, how it comes, the natural state it's in. So you can see it says on it, Thin Candice Long in Ginger Brown. Okay, so I'm going to cut this label off because obviously I don't want the label on. So I just cut it out. It's just got a little plastic piece on that keeps it on there. And that can go straight in the bit. Now, we're going to sort the cap out first of all. So... You know, I love this wig. It's so nice. It feels so nice, especially when you get a new one. But before we start messing with the hair, I'm going to sew in wig clips. So I'm going to sew two wig clips in just at the front, one there and one there. To hold it at the front, snap it in. You don't need more than two with this wig. It's a very light wig, even though there's a lot of hair on it. So let's sew them in together. So to do this, you need your tools, you need your scissors. These are craft scissors. I was using just standard pair of scissors before, but it wasn't doing the job properly. So I um, invested in some craft scissors. These weren't expensive at all. For the colour wig that I'm using, I want a dark cotton. So I've got black cotton here. I've also got my wig clips. Now this is a pack of 50 that I got from Amazon. Dead cheap, like six, seven pounds, UK pounds. So I'm going to take two wig clips out because that's what I want. And I'm just going to make sure they work. Now these wig clips clip in and out like this. Okay, they're not the comb style that grip your head. I don't like them. These ones are great. So just little beautiful clips. You know, not very expensive at all. You can buy these from anywhere. Good Iris Secret Wigs do sew these in for you and use quality ones if you pay a little bit more. Or you can order clips directly from them. I was going to do that originally, but at the time I needed wig clips quick because I was going on holiday and I just found some on Amazon. I've stuck with them, keep reordering the same ones because they're such good quality ones. So it's nothing really about the price. I prefer to pay for quality, but these are quality in my opinion for what you, you pay for. 
you know, I think the six ninety nine, seven ninety nine, eight ninety nine. They go up and down as Amazon things do, but these are really good. So when you're sewing in a wig clip like this one, it's got a little rubber on the back, and it's got two holes on each side, and then at the bottom it's got another gold hole. So you've got three holes, but I'm only going to sew the top two. So I don't really mess with the bottom one. I suppose you could sew it in. I just don't do that. I found I don't need to. So when you're sewing a wig clip in, make sure the rubber bit is at the bottom. So it's facing down and the teeth, the teeth are facing towards you. And that's going to grip it in. So for example, on this wig, because this is the front, I'm going to sew it there. Okay. So that's with the teeth facing down, the rubber down as well. And then when I clip it in and out, it's going to be like that. Now, if I was going to sew in another one at the bottom here, I would turn it around again. So the teeth are facing me and the rubber's down. So in a way, it would look back to front from what the two at the front are. But when you turn the wig around, it looks the same. Okay, that's how it would be. So if you were sewing in three wig clips, they'd look like that. Just so you know. So you don't sew them the wrong way around. I've done that before. Learned that the hard way. Trial and error. I've also got a little needle here and I've already prepped my first one. So I've got my needle and cotton done here. I will show you how to do this on the next one. But this is how I sew mine. In. And you know, I've had to learn myself. I didn't know how to sew before. I lost my mum, you know. And before I lost my mum, she used to do all my sewing. So even though I didn't live with my mum, I'd go around my mum's, my buttons fell off my top or this and that, and she'd sew them for me. So I had to even Google how to thread a needle properly to get the needle to, you know, kind of have that knot at the bottom there. I didn't even know how to do that. So obviously I knew how to thread a needle, but I didn't know how to secure the needle ready for sewing. And I didn't really know how to sew. So I just taught myself through watching demo videos and you know, trial and error, learning how to do it. So I'm going to show you the best way. You know, there is many ways of how to do this out there, but I'm going to show you the best way, what's worked for me. And I do one clip in two goes. So I'll sew the first bit and then I'll cut the, ta the you know, the I'll cut the, the thread off. Come on, Liz, get with the program. And then, you know, tighten it up and then do the other side. So I'm going to show you. So... I'm going to start by putting it where I want it. So I'm going to want, I want, you know, the thing is as well with these wigs, you've got a line, so you know where the centre bit is. So I'm going to sew the first one about there, okay? Now, trial and error, always make sure you hold it very firmly when you're sewing it, because if you don't, it's going to move around and you're going to have to redo it. So I want it about there, okay? I want it about there. So I've got it where I want it. I'm holding it there with my thumb. And then I'm going to take my needle and cotton and I'm going to go down and up into the first hole. Now, you don't need to take a lot of wig, just a little bit is fine. You know, if you're doing this on a monofilament wig, just be a bit more careful because you can see it through the cap. You know, so just to go down into the first hole and take a little bit of wig and go up into the hole, just like that. So if you can see, I'm pulling it up. And I'm just going to do it one more time, go down into the wig. I'm just going to pay attention to what I'm doing so I don't mess it up. And I'm going to do it one more time. So I found three times is fine. So that's the first hold on. Then I'm going to go down again into a little bit of wig. And I'm going to go up through the second hole. Just like that. Okay, making sure I get no hair stuck in there. And I'm going to do it again. And then I'm going to do it one more time. It's as simple as that, okay? It's as simple as that. So that's one side done already. So all I do now is I get, I just cut it about there and I'm going to take the two ends of the cotton and I'm going to put a little kind of knot in there. So I'm going to put it round a couple of times and that secures it fine. So I'm going to do that. Now, some people don't do this. They just go straight underneath the wig clip and sew the other side. But I found they're not as secure that way. And now I'm going to cut off the excess. So the first side is done. I'll show you in more detail when I've done the other side. So now the same cotton will do this clip. So I only need one piece of cotton for each clip. 
So now what I do is I, it's already threaded. So I grab my fingers and go along the length of the cotton, stop about there, and I bring my, my needle down between my thumb and forefinger. And I just get the cotton one, two, three. I go around it three times and pull it very tight. And that creates the knot at the bottom there. Okay, that creates that knot. And then I'm just going to get the scissors, hold my fingers where the knot is and cut below it. So I don't have lots of excess cotton everywhere and it looks unsightly. I've also learned that the hard way too. Trial and error. So I'm going to get it where I want it again. And then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go down into the wig, take a little bit of wig, first hole, bring it up and do three goes. So down again and up. And it's come off. Sometimes it does that, okay? Don't panic if it does that. It just means you need to thread your, your cotton again, okay? So let me grab this, okay? So I'm just going to tighten this up. I'll show you what I mean in two seconds. So it would do it on camera. Sometimes it doesn't do it. Sometimes it does. Very rare, but obviously it's happened to show you what can happen. So don't panic if that happens and think, oh, no, I've done it wrong. Or it just means the cotton's just you know, played up a little bit. So I just tighten it as if I was ending it and start again. So you can see how it's already secured it there. You know, it's in there, it's in right, but I just need to make it more secure. So we're gonna set the whole needle process up. So I just grab my cotton, that's fine, and then cut it off. The threading of the needle is the hardest bit. Usually I do this with a magnifying glass, but because I am getting better at it, we're going to try and do it without. Okay, you just have to have a keen eye and patience. Patience, patience to do it. And I've done it. There you go. Just a little bit of patience. Pull it down so both sides are level, equal. Grab it, pull it through like this. And then you hold it in your thumb and your forefinger. You take the cotton, one, two, three. We'll go around four times just to be on the safe side. And then you pull it down. Sometimes you can make a mess like that, which I've done. Again, I feel like I'm kind of showing you what can happen. But all you do is pull it down. Okay, pull it down. And it will stay in. Do you know, this is what happens when you're on camera. When you're on camera and you don't edit your videos, because I never edit my videos. I prefer you to see everything. These are the things that happen and can go wrong. But it should stay in, we'll see. I'm just going to cut the back off. See if that knot's secure there. And remember, this is only my work wig, so, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. That'll do. Okay, that'll do. That's fine. So I'm going to go back in and ignore the bit that I've done. I'm just going to go straight over that as if that wasn't there because obviously the cotton pulled out. So I'm going to go down into the wig, into the first hole three times, and then I'm going to go down into the wig, and I'm going to go just like this, three times into the second hole. So remember, ignore that gold hole. I think they are on all of the wig clips, but you don't need to mess around with that one because it's secure enough. And then I'm just going to cut it off, and I'm going to take both sides of the cotton, just like this, and I'm going to tight into a double knot so i always think the reward of sewing in these wig clips is putting on your wig so that gives you patience and it keeps you going so i'm going to cut it off about there so that's the first one done so you see it doesn't take long to do and you can see now it goes in so you can see where on the first one i just went down like this i'll get my little needle and show you so i just went down into the wig, I took a little bit of wig and I came up through the first hole and I repeated that three times. Then I did it on the second hole, repeated it three times, cut it off and then I tied it into a double knot and the same on the other side. And that wig clip now is super secure. So we need to prep again with another fresh piece of cotton. So I'll take the old one out. I do tend to waste a lot of cotton when I'm doing this, but I'd rather do that and do it right than, you know, being... What's the word? Is it frugal with the cotton? So that's how I do it anyway. I don't mind because, you know, I get my cotton from the supermarket and it's really good quality. I think it's like £3 for a roll or something like that. But, you know, that's fine. I don't mind doing that. So let's thread the needle. Again, like I say, this is the hardest part. So let's thread the needle. 
just seen it it's like you have to get it right sometimes i can do it. sometimes i can sit here for so long trying to thread my needle but the reason i love doing these little videos and i know i haven't done one for a while is because you know we get to know each other and talk and you can see me doing normal things like this and you know i've threaded it there and that we are all human. It does take time to do these things. So I'm going to pull it down, make sure it's straight. And I do find as well, it's much easier. It feels nicer, should I say, sewing on a machine tease wig than a mono wig. Even though the mono wigs are easier, supposed to sew, because they're easier to sew, because they go through very easily. But I just like the security of the machine tease wigs. So... Just going to make my little knot at the bottom there, just like that. And then I'm just going to cut off the excess cotton. And let's see if we can use this one piece of cotton to do this whole wig clip. So we're going to make sure the teeth are facing me, the rubber is at the bottom, and I'm going to secure it where I want it. So I want it about there, equal level to the other one, just to match it. And getting it in the right place is the most important part. So about there. Going to go down into a little bit of wig and go into my first hole on the right and come up through it and then down again, she says. Sometimes it's hard to go into the wig, but down again, there it is. And down again. So I'm going to do three on each hole, three for lock. Okay, three for lock, that's what I'm doing. And then down again into the second hole. So down into the wig, up into the hole, same again, and on the third one I'm going to show you, so I'm going to go a little bit of wig and come up into that hole, just like that, and then I'm going to cut a little bit off, so hope it does do the whole one, because I've just knocked my, um, yeah, I've, I thought I'd knock the roll, I've knocked my ring off there, knocking things off the table, in human style, one, two, I'm going to tie it around three times because I am going to be wearing this wig a lot daily for work. So I'm just going to cut it off. That's one side. Don't see how, you know, when you know what you're doing, it's easy. When I first started doing these, and you can see on the, the wig videos that I did previously, it took me so long to do it. So let's see if this little piece of cotton will work. I'm going to take it around three times. I'll do four for lock secured and then i'm going to cut off that little excess piece of cotton so it doesn't look unsightly on the back of the wig even though i'm the only one who's seen it you know so again make sure you've got it you're holding the wig clip in the right position and then you go in down through the wig up through the first hole same again down and up i think it's going to do it this time on this one which is really good and then down and up through the second hole down and up and down and up and there you go secure so i'm just going to cut that little bit off there tighten the wig and we can put her on isn't it cool so again it doesn't take long to sew your wig clips in and it is worth sewing wig clips in because you know wearing them with a wig grip band is all good but you can tell then you've got your wig on because it does push it against your head so i'm not knocking wig grip bands they're brilliant they do what they're supposed to do but for me personally, I just prefer the wig clips. So there you go, look at that, two wig clips sewn in. You can see what a good job I've done. You know, not no unsightly cotton anymore. I used to have to do it with white cotton because I couldn't see what I was doing, but now I'm used to it, I do it normally. So we're gonna turn her inside out. Now remember, this is a brand new wig. She's come straight from America to the UK for me. You know, she hasn't been brushed or anything so i'm going to give her a little brush so i'm going to grab my brush she doesn't need much at all she isn't matties even though she's come all that way travel to me she isn't matted at all i'm going to take the brush and just brush up through the part so just brush it back so it doesn't look like it's been in a packet you can shake it up if you want whatever you want to do Gonna check the back. At the back, they've got bra strap adapters. Just make sure they're okay. See, I don't even have to mess with that. The first wig time wearing. Don't need to do that at all. Get my thumbs at the back where the label is, and we're gonna put her on together. So thin candies, fresh out the box, fresh out the packet. 
May, I mean, how, how long have I been doing? 90 minutes to get it right for wear. I mean, perfect. So we're going to put her on, flick it back, line up my ear tabs. I'm going to pull her up to my hairline. And pretty much she's good to go. Obviously, you probably wouldn't want to go out with it this full. But I'm going to clip in my, my um, if I grab it wherever, oh, I haven't opened my wig clips. Let's do it again, Liz, and open the wig clip, shall we? So make sure you open your wig clips. You're thinking, why aren't they clipping in? So we'll do it again. And grab my ear tabs, make sure they are straight. And then pull her up to my hairline about there. And this time, can you hear them clipping? There you go. Look at how secure the wig is now that you've got them. And you don't need more than two. You, you can put another one in if you want, but you don't need to. And then I'm just going to brush her through. Again, only because she's been sitting and she hasn't been out of the bag. I just love Thin Candy. She's my favourite, favourite wig. So you can see how it's got this tiny little bang. This is how it comes. So you can understand now why I trim this a little bit because it might go in your eyes. But because this is going to be my work wig, this is why I want it. Because I have found, you know, I am clipping that little bit of fringe out the way when I can be wearing that wig with that fringe. So... The way I get this ready for wear is, you know, it's parted naturally where it wants to part. You can part this anywhere, but I like it parted the way it is. You could wear it like this easily, but I'm just going to get a little bobby pin and I'm just going to clip it there. Okay. And she's good to go. Yeah, I do find this one's got a little bit of volume happening here, which is really nice. Sometimes they don't have that. Sometimes they do. That'll settle down in time if you don't like that. Or you could just put... A little bobby pin in there. But other than that, that's Thin Candy. It's good to go. 20 minute video. Just showed you from start to finish, taking it out of the packies, getting her ready to wear. Absolutely amazing. Have a great day. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.